everybody, it's Charlie and welcome to my first video of 2015. So there are three things slightly different about my videos this year, two of which you will have noticed, or at least I hope you will have noticed, one of which you won't. So the first thing is of course my introduction, which obviously you will have noticed. Um, I always like to do a new introduction at the beginning of each year on my channel. I don't know, it just makes me feel like I've got a whole new, fresh start to go with. Um, as always, let me know down below what you think of the intro that I've done, because I really appreciate your input. Um, the second thing is the quality of this video should be a heck of a lot better, because I am filming using my proper camera for the first time in... Actually, I think since I started my channel, maybe. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, hopefully the quality of this should be a little better. Although this is my first time filming with it in ages. So it may be a bit out of focus sometimes in that kind of thing. But I'm going to do my best to try and keep it going well. So, fingers crossed. Um, and the third thing which you won't have noticed, and that is that you're on my new tripod. So for the first time in a few years you should be actually not lopsided, you should be very level um, because you've actually just been leaning you've just been leaning on my old tripod for a long time which was broken, the head kept falling off which is why you would have been wonky but hopefully now you won't be anymore so today's video is going to be kind of two videos in one it's going to be a book haul and then I'm going to be showing you my Friday reads my first Friday reads of the year obviously um, so yeah I'm gonna get started in showing you the books because there is quite a few of them um, the first time I'm gonna show you I actually got just before Christmas but I forgot to show them in my haul and all the other ones I got in my local bookshop, they were having a um, kind of New Year's sale um, and there was like 10% off and all of their book, almost all of their books were half price and so as you can imagine I went a little bit crazy so yeah, let me show you them so as I said, the first two books I got before Christmas um, and the first one I actually just bought for myself um, and that is when Hitler Stole Pink Rabbit and Bombs on Aunt Dainty by Judith Kerr. When Hitler Stole Pink Rabbit is one of my favourite books of all time. Um, and I first read it all the way back when I was in primary school. And I can just remember just being in love with it. The last hour of every school day at my primary school was reading time. And we could just go and sit in amongst the little library and just read for an hour. And I can just remember... Um, but we were actually given a book to read, we didn't get to choose, we were given a book to read and I was given this one and I can remember just devouring it and just loving every page of it and just being completely just blown away by what was going on in this book and oh, I just loved it so I'll definitely be talking more about this once I've read it again um, it's to do with the Second World War and refugees and that kind of stuff so very much looking forward to revisiting this book and the other book that I got just before Christmas, um, basically, I went to my local Christmas market with my family. It was absolutely beautiful. So, so, so stunning. Loved it so much. It was the first time I'd ever been to a Christmas market and I will definitely be going more in the future. Um, and basically on one of the stalls I started talking to two sisters who had just had their first novel published and they were really really lovely and they very kindly gave me a copy of their book and this is The Hummingbird, uh, Madness in Crescendo by Isabella and Irina de Warden. De Warden. Um, I don't know much about this, it's a dystopian um, and it's about a duchess and her life and I don't know, I honestly I don't know, I'd never heard of it before as I say it's just been published um, for them um, and what was also really nice of them is that they signed it for me so it says, for Charlotte, hope you enjoy the world of Voskia because that's what the world is called in this book obviously and then they just signed it and they were so nice and I love supporting new authors and yeah I'm hoping this book is as good and as wonderful as the two sisters were so yeah 
that's that one um, now all the other books that I am going to be showing you I got from my local bookshop in the sales so the first four are all uh, graphic novels because I've really been getting into graphic novels again a lot lately I think um, obviously if you watch my Christmas haul you'll know I got Saga volume 4 um, which Saga is one of my favourite graphic novel series and it just made me want to read loads more of them again um, so the first one that I got is Ghosted volume 3 um, by Joshua Williamson and I can't say the other names hopefully that's in focus. I can't. I can't. I can't say them. I'll just butcher them. Um, and I think this is my second favorite, second to um, Saga. My second favorite graphic novel series. It's amazing. It's about a guy called Jackson, and um, he sort of helps with like paranormal cases and ghosts and stuff like that. And this one is about a supernatural 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 black market and a guy who is he's a magician and he's basically um granting people this wish if they commit suicide he will make it so that they can come back and haunt whoever they want to haunt basically um oh it's just such a brilliant book the um illustrations are the illustrations are absolutely amazing. I just, I love them so much. And my only, I would say the only fault, the only fault with these, with well, I think with all graphic novels is that they are far too short. Um, I could have just kept reading and reading this for ages. So absolutely love this series. The next one that I got is Storm by Tim Minchin. Tim Minchin is a British comedian. I say comedian, but he does a lot of things. He can sing and he songwrites and he produced the stage version of Roald Dahl's Matilda or wrote it. Um, he's a very, very clever guy and I was so excited to see this in the bookshop. I have already read it and I will be doing a review on it very soon, so look out for that. Again, the illustrations are absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah. The next one that I got is Trickster Tales, The Pied Piper of Hamelin by Russell Brand. Russell Brand, again, is also a British comedian. I'm not a huge fan of his, but again, he's very clever with his words, and to be honest, it was the illustrations that got me for this. Literally, they just sucked me in. Um, and this is just his retelling of the Pied Piper of Hamelin. Uh, oh, I just love the pictures in this book, and I'll talk a bit more about this one as well once I have read it. And then the last graphic novel that I got and this is the book that I'm currently reading, but I will come back to that in my Friday Reads in the second part of this video. And it is Seconds by Brian Lee O'Malley, who, of course, wrote the Scott Pilgrim series, which I haven't read. This is my first um, graphic novel that I've read by him. And I am absolutely loving this so much. And for a graphic novel, it's quite big, which is always good. I'm over three quarters of the way through this now. And oh, it's so good. Um, I love the illustrations in it, I think they're amazing, I just love the way in general that it's laid out and again I will be doing a review on this when I finish it which will be very very soon, oh so 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 good. Now on to all the actual books. So the first one that I picked up is Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. I have been wanting to read this for such a long time and it's been one of those books that I've kind of just put off and put off and put off and I don't know I just had this huge urge to read it at the beginning of the of this year and so it was one of the first books that I picked up in my bookshop um, I just went straight to look for it and I'm so excited that they had a copy. I've heard so many good things about this series. And I'm so excited to finally try it for myself. I don't know too much about it. Other than the fact that it's to do with like Greek gods and things like that. So yeah, very excited for this one. The next one that I picked up is The 100 by Cass Morgan. Again, this is another one I've wanted to read for quite a long time. I know it's also a TV series now as well. Um, and I know it's sci-fi... And I'm not a huge fan of sci-fi, but I really want to try to read more of it this year. Um, <clears throat> so all I know about this is that it's set 
in the future and nobody is living on Earth anymore. Everyone is living in um, spaceships. Far, it says they're living in spaceships far above Earth's radioactive surface. That can put it better than I ever could. Um, but some youths that have been um, in trouble or that are considered dangerous by society are sent down to Earth um, to try to recolonize the planet and yeah I, as you can see I don't know much about it but again it's another one I've heard a lot about so I'm very excited to give it a try for myself. The next one that I picked up is Help for the Haunted by John Searles. This is another one that's been on my wish list for quite a long time um, and this is about um, well it's about a young girl called Sylvie Mason and her mother and father's job is to help haunted souls find peace but one night they go missing and um, this is told it goes back and forth through the years between now and what happened leading up to them going missing and that kind of stuff and it's just about Sylvie trying to find out what happened that night really and it sounds amazing. The next book that I picked up is Deliver Us From Evil by Ralph Sarchi and Lisa Collier Call. This is a non-fiction and this is about a New York cop who ended up investigating the supernatural. Um, and I recently, um, prior to buying this, I watched the film um, that's based on this book. And I absolutely loved it so much. And I have to say it has one of the best looking men in it I think I've ever seen. I don't know who he is. I've never seen him in anything before. Um, but he plays the lead role of the cop. And oh, oh, he's beautiful. As I said, this is about a cop who investigates supernatural cases with the help of a priest. And what what is really cool about this as well is it's got about... Um, Oh, well, Ed and Lorraine Warren, who are in The Conjuring. The Conjuring is based kind of around them, The Conjuring movie. Um, and it's got about the real life Ed and Lorraine Warren in this book as well, which is really cool. So very excited to read this one. The next book that I picked up is Rooms by Lauren Oliver. I just need to show you a close-up of this cover because it is beautiful. So it looks like this. It's a lovely hardback. It doesn't have a dust jacket, which is always good in my opinion, because dust jackets, let's face it, are a pain in the arse. Um, and all I know about this book is that it is narrated by two ghosts that inhabit the walls of an old house. And, oh, literally, I picked this up, I read the back, and I was like, oh my god, it's like this book has been written for me. Um, so I'm super excited to read this, and I will be reading this one very very soon. And the last book that I picked up from my bookshop, my bookshop, why did I say it like that? <laughs> and the last book that I picked up from my bookshop is All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Doa. Doa, is that how you say it? I don't know. Um, and I don't know too much about this, apart from the fact that it is a historical novel. Um, and, and actually I'm going to read you the inside of this one because it's too hard to explain otherwise. It says, Marie Laurie Leblanc, the daughter of a locksmith, has been blind since the age of six. Her father builds a perfect miniature of their Paris neighbourhood so she can learn to navigate her way home. But when the Nazis invade, father and daughter flee, carrying a dangerous secret. Warner Fenning is a German orphan destined to labour in the same one where his father died. But then he finds and repairs a broken radio, and suddenly life blazes with possibility. His talents win him a place at an elite military academy, but can he pursue his dream whatever the cost? Hundreds of miles away in a walled city by the sea, an old man listens to a long-lost voice and discovers a new world without ever setting foot outside his home, and yet impending danger will not allow him to remain shut in forever. So I think this just sounds like an incredible book. It just sounds like it's going to be completely beautiful and sad and wonderful. Everything a good novel should be. And one of my resolutions for this year, I know I haven't done a resolutions video and I don't think I'm going to, but one of them is to read more historical fiction. Um, just because 
uh, historical fiction has always been something that I've loved, but I've tend to sort of stick with YA for the last few years of my life. And so this year I want to just do and read different things. Um, so this is definitely going near the top of my TBR pile because oh, I just think it sounds absolutely incredible. It's, a, it's one of those huge paperbacks though, which is a bit annoying because I don't really like them. They're not very comfortable to hold, but nevertheless, it sounds like it's going to be amazing and the cover is absolutely beautiful. So I very much look forward to that. Now I'm going to show you what I plan on reading this weekend. So as I previously said, I'm currently reading Seconds by Brian Lee O'Malley um, and as I also said I am over three quarters of the way through this now so I will either finish this tonight, probably tonight, or I will definitely finish it um, tomorrow and then I will be starting Percy Jackson and The Lightning Thief because as I say I've been wanting to read this for such a long time and I just don't want to put it off anymore, I just want to see what all the hype is about in this series and I'll probably end up getting halfway through and ordering all the rest of the books in this series. Um, but yeah, super excited to finally read it. So that is my Friday reads. I hope that you enjoyed watching my first video of 2015. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye!